that is, is accepted. So this represents a 56% growth over 2018 for submitted papers, and not only that, but in the last few years, the growth has been accelerating. So you may wonder, how long can this kind of growth continue? Well, if we say that this 26% acceleration of growth were to continue for another nine years, then we'd have 10.8 billion submitted papers in 2028. <laughs> so that's one for every man, woman, and child. So clearly we'll have to write genetic algorithms so that the algorithms write their own papers. So with such a growth in the community, it's interesting to see what the composition is. And this is purely reflecting the institutions of the, of the authors that submitted papers. So we can see that there's a, a large contingent from Asia, North America, Europe, as well as representation across the globe. And about 65% of the authors are from China or the United States. Uh, by, by a large majority, most of the authors of submitted papers are coming from universities. The universities account for the bulk of the, the authors of the papers. For reviewers, the distribution is a little bit different. So there's 2,887 reviewers. Oh, one thing I want to emphasize, 14,000 authors. That's really incredible to think about. It's a whole, you can make a whole city just of authors of CDPR papers. <laughs> 2,887 reviewers provided 15,000 reviews. That's like 60,000 man hours of reviewing. And, uh, and here the distribution is more uh, heavy in North America and Europe. And uh, one thing that was a little bit surprising to me at first is that some of the institutions that have contributed the most reviewers are actually companies like Google and Facebook and Microsoft, as well as, as some of the large universities, Carnegie Mellon, Oxford, and MIT. But there's many, of course, many institutions. Um, this can be explained largely in that our reviewers are very experienced. So many of the authors that are submitting papers are students. Most of the reviewers have already received their PhDs. Their researchers are faculty, 72%. And uh, we also enforced that in order to review, you needed to have at least two papers published in CBPR or some related conference. So our reviewers really have a lot of expertise and, uh, and they worked very hard. The median review length was 342 words. So I think we have a very strong review process. We also have 132 area chairs that needed to select about 35,000 candidate reviewers and make decisions on the over 5,000 papers, a daunting job.